I'm David Sanchezi, and I'm here to talk about the news of the day. All right, I have this new symptom potentially in COVID that came up that if you're a male or you identify as a male, it's not going to make you happy. Most of us can deal with the shortness of breath, the stuffy nose, the sore throats, and the other things that come along with COVID. However, this new symptom potentially is something that should scare all men. And I'm going to read it to you right now. This is a claim by a guy who claims his penis shrank by 1.5 inches from COVID. And the doctors say it is real. Talk about getting the short end of the stick, no pun intended, as if contradicting COVID wasn't bad enough, a dismayed man now claims that he lost a whopping 1.5 inches from the length of his penis as a lingering result of the vile virus. And if you've been following the COVID, the vaccines, we've all seen the different things that come into our sexual parts as far as men. You saw when Mickey Minaj said that a friend of hers had swollen testicles. We've seen now how in another part of the world, they claim that Viagra can help heal certain symptoms within COVID as well. So now we have this. I'm a heterosexual man in my 30s, he said, anonymously only referring to self have himself as coming up short. In July of last year, I, con I contracted COVID and was very sick. When I got out of the hospital, I had some erectile dysfunction, he claims. The purported once well-endowed man went on to explain that prior to his diagnosis, he had boasted an above average tool size. But much to his chagrin, his formerly impressive private, private parts have since lost their luster. He claimed that a medical advisor had attributed his pecker problems to vascular damage caused by COVID and was warned that the impairment was likely permanent. So in other words, if you get this, you're going to permanently be a half an inch or one and a half inches shorter. It shouldn't really matter, the man wrote, but it has a profound impact on my self-confidence and my abilities in bed. I know you can't give me back my missing length and girth, but I was wondering if you could give me any advice on what to do now. In response to the dude's desperate plea for penis help, Dr. Charles Wheeliver, a urologist and director of men's health at Albany Medical College, confirmed the rare but real havoc COVID can wreck on a man's unmentionables. Now, is this more COVID propaganda to fear people of it? Or is this actually true? You can connect the dots, the physician told Slate of the virus correlation to dingling disorders. The New York Post has a way with words. This is actually pretty funny. COVID, a mass respiratory of symptoms that leads to a lot of the deaths, he said, but there's also pretty significant vascular issues that occur with guys. The doctor went on to cite studies that have shown causes of men who've suffered from preapsum, the persistent erection prompted sans sexual arousal and ED after contracting COVID. When guys get ED, they get a lack of erections for a while. And when that happens, they actually do get some shrinkage, he added. And his commentary on miniaturized members was backed up by Dr. Ashley Winter, a urologist in Oregon who insisted COVID dick is a real thing. This is from the doctor herself. The main reason that we think this occurs is something we call, don't ask me how to pronounce this, endonothial dysfunction, she explained. That's basically the cells that line your blood vessels and they're really important for the functions of many different organs. The healthcare pro went on to note that COVID infects these vital cells. It can take a toll on a number of organs. And because the erection is a blood, pro blood flow event, when those blood vessels are affected, you can get the erectile dysfunction, she said. Here goes something interesting. A typical regimen would be starting something like Viagra or Cialis to improve blood flow, advised Winter. Another thing would be to buy a penis vacuum device and do penis exercises with it or penis push-ups. Don't know what that is, but it sounds funny. I just think it's funny because there is also a study now that claims that Vi Viagra can help, help heal COVID. So it's just all interesting. Anyway, I want to throw this little humorous um, article in there. I guess it's true. They claim it is. So if you're a man and you really haven't been too worried about getting COVID, 
this might be something that could scare you into long-term isolation. Anyway, thanks for watching. God bless America, and God bless all of you. Talk to you soon.